On a second investigation of the Prater House, we decided to invite a couple of friends of mine, Barb Wyatt and Debbie Jansen. And what was in it? Um, our wedding picture that was gone, it was gone out of that silver frame, it had been gone for like two weeks. Uh-huh. It disappeared the Friday before they came last time. It was, it was in there. I had a, a ring, which I've taken my mom since then. It was in there. And then that watch that came out of nowhere was in there. That was in the bird It was in the bird It's been happening since day one. And we're not actually going to play the board. We're not going to play the board. But I'm going to do an introduction of it. That one she had was old when it, uh, it was, that it was old. Yeah, uh, this is, this was not. Uh, tonight we're going to kind of do an unorthodox uh, form of ghost hunting. Uh, Cy typically doesn't use Ouija boards. And I wanted to describe a little bit about the board to everybody. The board itself, and it's also called a talking board, the board is harmless. This is nothing but a piece of cardboard. And the plastic is nothing but a piece of plastic. The board is harmless. Where you run into the harm of playing with the Ouija boards is when you open up your mind. You open up your mind and you open up doors when you open up your mind. Because when spirits try to communicate with you, they usually come to you in a subconscious state. It's usually in REM sleep. And you can be in REM sleep and not even know it. Even during the waking hours, like if you daydream or so, uh, that's a form of REM uh, state of mind. And this is when they'll come in and they'll communicate with you. Now, when you're actually playing the Ouija board, you're letting your mind wander and you're opening it up. And so anything can come through. That's where the gate is. That's where the doorway is. And that's where the danger comes with the Ouija board play. Experienced practitioners claim that uh, they're able to tell which spirits are good and which spirits are bad. Uh, mainly when you come into a Ouija board play, the first question you ask are you from the sun or are you from the moon? Uh, if the planchet goes to the sun, it means that you've got a good spirit. If it goes towards the moon, maybe you don't have a good spirit at all. And it's very important that you close out the Ouija board after you play it. However, I don't suggest for anybody to play the Ouija board. We're not actually going to play it tonight. What we're going to do is we're going to set the planchet up on the board and we're not even really going to be in the room. We're going to be in the other room trying to uh, talk to whatever it was we spoke with the last time we were here. And I'm going to see if it, it, if it wants to come out and try to spell out for us what it is. We do have cameras on the Ouija board. And uh, we'll just see what we can come up with. All right, is everybody ready to get started? Yeah, I'm out here. <laughs>